Hello, lovely artists. So as part of our portrait unit, we're going to carry on looking at how to do features, and today we're going to look at how to draw the eye. And we're going to first of all look at uh, the eye ball, okay? So here is a ping pong ball, and it's a similar size and shape to our actual eyeballs. If you have your clean hands, just place your fingers delicately on top of your eye. You can actually feel the ball there. So this, is, this knowledge is going to help us with drawing our eye and also um, later on when we add shading and tone to make it more, look more realistic, this knowledge will help us as well. So first of all, we're going to draw the eyeball. Okay, so I'm gonna try and draw a circle a good one in one go. Let's see. Mm. Sometimes you need to go around more than once and then take out the bits that have gone wrong. Kind of. Not bad. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the iris and that's one of our keywords in fact. I wrist. It's also the name of a flower. And we're going to do the iris now. So that's another circle and it's inside the eyeball. Not bad. Okay, so iris and then you have that. The iris is the coloured part, the eye. And then we have the pupil, which is where the light goes in. And this is the pupil. Okay, that's the black black. Sometimes it will have a reflection bouncing off it. We'll look at reflections later. Um, so pupil is another keyword. And very sadly we haven't got any pupils here today. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. So common mistakes. I'm just going to get rid of, whoops, I'm just going to get rid of my eyeball. Knowing that it's there helps me, but I don't actually need to see it right now. I'm going to show you a common mistake. Um, sometimes when people draw eyes, they draw the eyelids far too far away from the iris. So the eye is really staring. But even if I do really stare at you, you won't see much of my, the white around my eyes. Very little. So we need to bring the eyelids in and at this point it might be helpful if you look in the mirror and try staring and then just look normally. If I'm looking normally, in fact my eyelids um, kind of make, in, in most people will look like an almond, you know, than that, an almond. Okay, so um, what's going to happen, I'm going to bring a curve over the top of my eyes and in fact I'm going to cut across, I'm going to cut across the top of the iris, yeah, and then I'm going to make this line almost touch the bottom of the eye, the bottom of the iris, sorry. Now, I've left something out, I left something very important out, a lot of, this is another common mistake. People leave out the tear duct, and the tear duct is in the inside part of your eye near the nose, and it's like a little little lump, little shape coming out, a little curve. Okay, so there's my iris, the iris, the, sorry, tear duct, very important, the tear duct, and that's another keyword, key word. tear duct, it keeps your eye healthy, yeah, it produces uh, fluid to flush out bacteria and dust, and also for crying. So there is my tear duct. So I've got my iris, my pupil, my tear duct and my eyelids are in the right place. That is, those are your eye basics. And next time we're gonna look at how to shade in the iris and we'll look at reflections and we're also gonna look at eyelashes, common mistakes with eyelashes as well. Okay, see you next time.